In this video, I want to show you how to create item price groups and discount groups, and how to update your items with the new groups. I'm only going to show you item price groups in this video. The process is exactly the same for discount groups. So if we search for item price groups, creating a price group is easy. Just enter a code and a description. Once done, you'll notice on the right hand side here, there's an item count column. So this tells you the amount of items that are in that price group. As you can see, there's none in either of these at the moment. So this 18 inch tire group that I've just created, let's update the items for it. Update items. You should be familiar with pages like this now. This denotes the filters that you can set. So we're going to put a new price group in these items called 18 inch tire, which is the one we just created. And we're going to filter to items where the rim size is 18 inch. And I'm not going to apply any other filters. You can, of course, filter to many other criterias to suit your needs. So for this, to, again, we're going to put 18 inch tire price group against all item cards that have a rim size of 18 inch. If I click OK, then we'll get warned that there are six items with a filter to rim size 18. Do I want to proceed? Yes. Six items updated. Perfect. And then you see the count here. If I click on the count, it will show you the items that suit. Clearly, these aren't all tyres, but this is just for demonstration purposes. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please contact a member of the team.